We're back in the shop today, working on our Yanmar VIO 35. Today we're doing cylinder seals. We need a seal kit, a head seal kit for that bucket cylinder, the stick cylinder, and the boom cylinder, and also the blade cylinder. Um, I ordered VI or I ordered uh, Yanmar um, parts from a local distributor, so we got the proper seal kits. They're all weeping a little bit, so we want to try to get that taken care of. And uh, most of the boom will be good. I think the piston cylinders are still good, so I didn't get those. We didn't notice any droop in any of the uh, buckets or anything when we were using it last summer, so I think those are good. If we find something wrong, I'll order those and put them in after the fact. But we have it in our shop. The uh, Probably bleeds out, but the cab is too high to get in the door here, so we're going to improvise with a little bit of plastic. So, I'll show you the seals that we're putting in. This is our parts manual, or part of it. Calls out the seal kits for the piston and the uh, head. Tells you what you need, part numbers. This is a VIO 35-2. It's early 2000s vintage, so these are the four head kits that we need. Yanmar parts. Hard to believe that's about 350 bucks right there. All right, so we'll get this torn apart and we'll show you the uh, seal installation on the bench. My son will be doing that. He's uh, he's good with that kind of stuff. This is how we usually do these. Just pop the pins on these. Unhook your hydraulic hoses. Pop your pins, and then just have a bucket ready. Put that cylinder right in the bucket and just cycle the cylinder. And it pumps that oil right out of it. The hydraulic oil in this machine will change fully when we're done with all this work anyway. So that's that. This is how we get the head caps off these cylinders. Put it back on the machine. You put it on upside down so the hydraulic uh, lines wouldn't get in the way, but you put it back on the machine and that acts as your vise. So when we're trying to get this head cap off right here, we don't have to stick it in the vise. It holds it. And the spanner wrench hooks onto those and we torque it off that way. Um, it works very well and uh, doesn't put any necessary undue torque on the tube or squeeze it anywhere you don't want to squeeze it. We do the same thing with the piston. We use that pin as a vise. We got to get that nut off the end of that piston. And that usually requires a big old huge socket wrench. So that's what we'll do next. It's going. A lot of times that requires a big old pipe. There we go. It's loose. And this is just a matter of taking these seals out. It's just a various assortment of picks and that kind of stuff. Just don't want to score any of the metal surfaces. And we got the old seals out and we're putting the new seals in. So you just lube them up and uh, tap them in. And we made a driver out of a piece of exhaust pipe since it fit that perfectly. You can put them in with a punch if you're real careful. Just work your way around that until it gets fully seated. Okay, now we're putting the head seal in. That's a seal, essentially a seal crimping tool that crimps it and allows it to get down inside. There's a groove in that in that head that we have to get that into. And that just bends that enough so that it can get started. 
you just gotta kind of fight with it. Gets on in that groove. We got all the uh, seals and all of our cylinders. The piston seals on all of them turned out to be okay, but uh, we didn't have any issues really. Worked out pretty well. Yanmar has this bolt-on pin arrangement, and that's much better than what we had on our other excavator. It's so much more handy to get those off. So, great idea, Yanmar. We like that a lot. Okay, they're all done. We got to put a few more guards on. We'll be good to go. That's this video.